Hey everyone, this is Usman from Coding Lore and this particular video we will see how the appropriate use of data structures can speed up your front end a lot. Let's dive into it. Okay, so in this example you can see that I have a table here and this table is basically displaying some students data. So you can see that ID and names are being displayed here and this array has a location ID and another location name. Now let's say that this students array is being fetched from a backend and the locations are fetched from a different endpoint. Now what we have to do is we have to basically get the location ID and using the location ID we have to see which particular location should be displayed on the table. So right now what I'm doing is I'm mapping the students and I am using the find method of the locations array to find that particular location corresponding to the location ID of the student and then you know showing its name. And you can see here it is displaying the name correctly. But the problem is that for every iteration of one student I'm iterating over all the locations. So right now I have only two students and three locations, but what if I had 10,000 students and 20,000 locations? Then you can see that it would cause a huge performance issue. So what we can do is we can create an object using the locations array and the key of that object should be the IDs of all the locations and the corresponding values can be the name of that location and then we can use that object. And we know that if we want to get a specific value from an object that is a constant time operation and that's not linear time like the find method here. Okay, so now basically I've created a locations map using the reduce method and for every location I'm iterating, I'm assigning the ID as the key of that object and the name as the value. And then basically I can use this object to show the locations and it would be much faster. So now what I can do is I can import the locations map, I can just pass the location ID and I get the same result but in a much more performant manner. Now another scenario is that let's say I want to show whether the student has passed or not. Now every student object has an ID. I'm getting the past student IDs, let's say from an endpoint, and that is basically an array of IDs. So uh, for David, I have an ID1. ID1 is present in this particular array. So I've displayed the past badge for this particular student. And for Alex, the ID is 2. The ID2 is not present in this array. So I've declared him failed. Now how I'm doing it right now is using the same find method and that is not obviously a good approach like we discussed previously, same thing. So for this particular case, I can use a set. I can create a set using this past student IDs array and then sets in JavaScript have a has method. So has method is a constant method which can be used to see if any particular item is present in the set or not. And that would be much better than using the array find method and that would also increase the performance of our app. Okay, so using the past student IDs array, I've created a past student ID set. Basically, I've just passed the array into the new set constructor, nothing special. And here, instead of doing this, I can do past student ID set dot has. And here in the has, I will pass the student ID. So now I get the exact same result, but again, in a much more performant way. If you like the tutorial, you can comment down below. Also, you can subscribe to the channel so that you can get updates about future videos. As always, like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.